So you want to start out with a good amount of clay and then you'll need two of the um, fourth inch guides. And let's just make sure that you don't roll out your slab too thick or too thin. So you want to place them on the side of your clay and you want to make sure that they're close enough that both of the guides will always touch the ends of the rolling pin. If you make them too far apart, the rolling pin's not going to touch and then that defeats the purpose. So you want to make sure they're close enough that the clay fits in between but that your rolling pin still will always touch it. Then you want to start in the middle. And start to roll it out. And then every once in a while you want to carefully lift it up from the back, pull it towards you, try not to bend it, and flip it over. I can already tell this is going to be too much clay. I don't need to roll out this much right now. I'm going to cut off a little bit. And this will just make it easier for me to roll out to the right thickness. So again, I'm going to pick it up, lift it towards me without bending it, and I'm going to flip it this way. And this is just helping to make sure that the clay it's stretched out evenly. And again, if it gets to be too big, you can trim a little bit off. you'll know if it's the right thickness, like if you're done, if the rolling pin goes over the clay, but the clay doesn't move anymore. So once the clay stops moving, you know it's this thick. So once you have it rolled out, the next thing you want to do is take one of the rubber ribs um, you can use the soft one or the, the stiffer one. And you want to smooth out the surface and compress it. This is just going to make sure that it doesn't crack. Um, it will keep it stronger as it dries. And you um, don't want to just go back and forth. You want to start at the edges and work towards the center. So you're really trying to just smooth and compress that surface, not stretch it out anymore. Like I said, you can use either one. Sometimes I like to use the stiffer one first and then go back with the softer one. And you'll notice when I'm picking it up, I'm really trying to keep it flat and straight because if you bend it right now, the clay will remember that. And as it dries, even if you've straightened it out, as it dries, it'll start to curl back up. So you want to keep it as flat as you can. So I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to turn it over. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. So starting at the edges and working my way towards the middle. 
smoothing out the surface, um, getting rid of the canvas texture, and this is just making it stronger and it won't break or bend as easily or crack.